Dan Bassini, I want to thank you for helping me organize this meeting here today. We have with us uh, Victor Strachey and all the other associates who came as far as from California, Kansas City, and all the other territories of the country. Thank you. How did things ever get so far? I don't know. It was so unfortunate, so unnecessary. And if the tally agrees, then I'm willing to let things go on the way they were before. We are all grateful to Don Corleone for calling this meeting. We all know him as a man of his word. A modest man, he'll always listen to reason. Yes, Don Barzini, he's too modest. He had all the judges and politicians in his pocket. He refused to share them. When, when did I ever refuse an accommodation? Except one time. Times have changed. It's not like the old days, where we can do anything we want. A refusal is not the act of a friend. If Don Corleone had all the judges and the politicians in New York, then he must share them. Certainly he can present a bill for such services. After all, we are not communists. <laughs> I also don't believe in drugs. For years, I paid my people extra so they wouldn't do that kind of business. I want to control it as a business to keep it respectable. I don't want it near schools. I don't want it sold to children. That's an infamia. Then we are agreed. The traffic in drugs will be permitted but controlled. And Don Corleone will give her protection in the East, and there will be the peace. But I must have strict assurance from Corleone. As time goes by and his position becomes stronger, will he attempt any individual vendetta? You talk about vengeance. I forgot the vengeance of my son. But I have selfish reasons. My younger son was forced to leave this country. I have to make arrangements to bring him back here safely, clear of all these false charges. But I'm a superstitious man. And if some unlucky accident should befall him, if he should get shot in the head by a police officer, or if he should hang himself in his jail cell, or if he's struck by a bolt of lightning, then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room. And then I do not forgive. But that aside, let me say that I swear on the souls of my grandchildren that I will not be the one to break the peace we've made here today. <laughs>